Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hounds and for this video I'm going to go through my top 10 favourite British horror films so shout out to Nate from Let's Talk Movies I uh, first saw him do this list and he did a great list so check out that if you've not seen it and then I saw Andrew Balliner did a response video so I thought I'd do my response as well and go through my top 10 favourite British horror films. So at number 10 we have Hellraiser and I've spoke about this one before but I, I remember watching this when I was a kid and it really took me to a dark place. I would not seen anything like this and it really had a lasting effect on me and still got a lot of that power today. It's a really effective film, such a dark storyline and as well the incredible makeup and and, and gore effects in this are just they're incredible even by today's standards I also love it, it kind of makes me smile how one and two are kind of very very British and then the third one goes American and there's quite a significant difference in it like the third one takes place in a crazy nightclub and the Cenobites are giving off one-liners and there's the Ozzy Osbourne soundtrack it just I love all three films but the transition is so apparent it's, it just makes me laugh but the first Hellraiser, amazing film. So that's number 10. Number 9 is Shaun of the Dead. And I don't love this one as much as some people, but I do respect this film for how well it did. And the fact that it became uh, a big court movie, but also did very well commercially. And uh, really kind of popularised the, the zombie genre. And uh, it was a great homage to the old-fashioned zombie films so yeah do enjoy Shaun of the Dead it's a fun film the next movie is very similar to Shaun of the Dead but I actually enjoyed it more and that's Cockneys vs Zombies and this one surprised me I didn't think this one would be so good but had a lot of fun watching this so they've got a really good storyline and was very action-packed and I just I thought it was slightly more funnier and then more entertaining than Shaun of the Dead I don't know what other people think about that, but that was certainly my opinion. I've watched this a couple of times now and, and I've really enjoyed it. So yeah, so that's 10, 9, 8. Number 7 is The Woman in Black. And this is another one that I really enjoyed. I really like the old-fashioned kind of gothic spooky feel of this one. I thought Daniel Radcliffe did a really good job in the main role. And I actually met the director of this, a guy called James Watkins. He went to the premiere, which I went to went to as well. And I got to meet him and talk to him. He was a really, really cool guy. He also directed Eden Lake, which I know is a, a big fan favourite amongst the horror community. But that actually isn't on this list. And that's only because I thought Eden Lake was quite a shocking movie. And it was really disturbing and quite difficult to watch in places and if I'm being honest and picking my favourites that's not on it just because I don't I don't watch it all that much just because it was such a shocking film I'm not saying it's not a great film because it is I'm just these films I watch and enjoy more than Eden Lake if anyone's wondering why that one didn't make the list so the next one is The Wicker Man classic movie really really creepy one of the creepiest movies i've ever seen this is signed by the director as well robin hardy he went to a screening at the broadway cinema uh, and that's how i saw him and, and got this signed but yeah love this love this movie um oh, so creepy you didn't think about it now such a creepy film the next movie is tales from the crypt this is a double feature with Vault of Horror, and to be honest, I could have put both of those films on the list, but I do I do really enjoy Tales from the Crypt. This was made by Amicus, who were a company who ran alongside Hammer Horror in the 60s and 70s, and they were famous for their uh, anthology movies. And I actually kind of enjoyed Amicus films more than Hammer, particularly in the 60s and 70s. I just... I just feel like they made better films and uh, Tales from the Crypt was one of my favourites and the scene where Peter Cushion comes back from the grave and is a zombie is one of the greatest horror scenes ever made if you've not seen it 
check out Tales from the Crypt. The cinematography in that in that particular scene is unbelievable. Next movie is Dog Soldiers. And this one I haven't seen for a long, long time, but I still remember it being uh, a really entertaining, really fun film. And also just so well made, such a good film. And it's really cool to see a film that can be be sort of tongue in cheek, yet still be really, really well made and really well directed. So yeah, I got a lot of love for Dog Soldiers. Really, really excellent movie. <clears throat> so into the top three. And number three is another Amicus anthology. And this is Asylum. And I first watched this a long, long time ago as a kid. And this one just, just captivated by by the, the way it told the stories and the way they all connected. I think this was like the first anthology film I ever saw. And yeah, just thought it was incredible. I love the setting, being in the hospital, in the asylum. It's got a great British cast. Really great creative stories in this one. Uh, it's just, yeah, never got a dull moment. Really, really like Asylum. One of my favourites. Number two is An American Werewolf in London. Don't need to say much about this one. This one's iconic. Brilliant film. Still got the best werewolf transformation effects ever. So, yeah, you all know this one. And number one for me is Horror of Dracula, or just Dracula, the original Hammer Horror Dracula movie starring Christopher Lee. This one was uh, introduced to me by my dad, and it was iconic for him back in his childhood. It was iconic for me, and I just think in terms of, of, of horror and cinema in general, there's, there's the, the sight of Christopher Lee as Dracula is just one of the most memorable and famous images there is, and... I love the look of this film. I love the colours in it. Uh, everything about it is just amazing. So yeah, I could watch this constantly. I love Horror of Dracula. So yeah, so that was my top 10 favourite British horror films. So let me know what you thought. Did you agree? Did you disagree? Did I miss anything off? Let me know. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.